Hello and welcome to EHRD 475, Multimedia Development for Training and Instruction. My name is Dr. Christine Mark and I will be the instructor for the course this summer. Hopefully you have gotten a chance to watch my intro video so you can learn a little bit about me as I want to learn about you as we go through this semester as well. I wanted to go through and explain what we will be doing throughout the semester as well as some of the course expectations. This is an online course and the way you will access the course is through eCampus. This course involves multimedia design. Many of you may be asking or wondering, you know, why do I need multimedia? Why am I taking this course? If you are a technology management major, you will at some time in the future have users asking you to support them in the use of multimedia. If you are an HRD major, one of the reasons this class is important is that most of the training you will develop and deploy will wind up being in an online format. And in order to provide the best training you can, it would behoove you to know um, some good conceptual things about design and about multimedia to make your training engaging. If you are a different major, you still have a lot to gain from this class, as multimedia is something we are consuming these days at a voracious rate due to things like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and all the instant video opportunities that are available. Since we are going to be designing multimedia, you need to be aware um, as far as where you can access the tools needed for design and creation of multimedia. Adobe Creative Suite, or CS6, is in the cloud now and is available in the computer um, labs on campus. Well, I realize this is a distance education class. Many of you have access to the computer labs on campus and may be able to do some of your assignments here and find this beneficial. Premiere will be the video editing software, and for screen captures, we'll be using Camtasia. I am using Camtasia right now to present this material. Your final assignment this semester is going to be a video or an in-depth web page that needs to be professionally done. The department, um, that's the EAHR department, is available to you. If you go to the reception area on the fifth floor, there's a very nice lady there named Jessica who can check out cameras to you during the semester to help you create your assignments. This course is arranged by modules and you can see from the course schedule which modules are due and which will be coming up. And these modules are due Tuesday at midnight each week. So let's go ahead and look at the syllabus. Okay, let me get it up here on the screen. Okay, so here are the objectives. Okay, and you can read through these. The most important thing to realize is why you need to take this course. Um, just to give you an example, as I may have mentioned in my intro video, I'm fairly new here at A&M. And as a new faculty member, I was required to take a great deal of online training. And this online training contained a lot of multimedia. It's important to look at the technology as well as the design. You know, what makes good multimedia? How should it be designed to be effective? So we will be looking at the best practices for multimedia design. Okay, here's my information. Um, here's the textbook. We'll get to the textbook in a minute. There are 1,000 points in the course. 40% um, of the grade is based on individual assignments. So you're going to be doing an assignment with Camtasia, a video editing assignment, and a website design. Okay, then 60% of the grade is based on See, actually 30%, sorry, is based on group assignments. So we'll be doing as a group, we'll be doing a needs assessment, we'll be doing a storyboard, and lastly a major kind of project involving a website or training video. OK, 
Okay, there will be four quizzes in the course. Okay. Which will all be on eCampus. Okay, then there's 100 points available for participation and presentation. Um, I will post discussion questions for each module and would like for you to post and discuss as we are going to be creating a community of learners and we can all learn from each other and part of this is discussing the issues and what we're learning. Okay, this is an online class and, and it's difficult because we are learning in 10 weeks what we would normally learn in 15 during the regular semester. With that being said, it's most important that you don't get behind. It's almost impossible to catch up once you get behind. And we're going to be moving fast as we go through the semester. Okay, here's some information on um, if you need to speak to the Disabilities Office, Academic Integrity, it's very important. Okay, you can read that. Then we have the course schedule. Okay, and like I said, it's it's set up in modules, and things are due every Tuesday at midnight throughout the summer. So for week one, since we're starting on June second, the first things are due June 9th, Tuesday at midnight. So you want to go into eCampus, complete all the modules. Um, all the items in the modules for modules 1, 2, and 3. And be very careful that you go through each module and complete each item. Okay, and then you can see the various dates when things are due on the course schedule. Okay, with your first Camtasia assignment being due June 16th. So we're going to move very fast. So it's important that you complete all the work in week 1 so that you'll be ready to complete your Camtasia video in week two. Okay, so that's the course schedule. Um, so in regards to the textbook, let's talk about that for a minute. Okay, let's get out of the course schedule. Okay. Okay, the good news is the textbook is free. Yay, so you don't have to buy one. But you do have to go to the library site and um, in order to access the textbook. So let's go there and see what that looks like. Okay, so you want to go to the library site. So that's library.tamu.edu. Type in the quick search, Multimedia Instructional Design. And we'll search for that. Okay, it may ask you for your login, so you may have to put your net ID in before you do this. Okay, you'll come up with the book here. Click on that. Okay, then go down to where you see connect to the full text of this electronic book. Click on that. And then you'll come to this screen where you'll see Read Online. Click on the Read Online and here is the book. Okay, so you'll have the availability and the ability to read the entire text online without having to purchase a textbook. So once you're here, you can scroll through the textbook and look at the various chapters. Here's Needs Assessment, for instance. Okay. So that's how you access the textbook. And so the textbook is free. Yay. Okay. So kind of to mention this again because it's so important. This is an online course. And the most important thing you can do is keep on top of it. The semester is short and you'll need to be involved every day in order to keep up. Some of the things we'll be doing will be time intensive, such as the video editing. While we learn about the concepts, it's the framework and methodology of actually creating and editing this content that will be a great learning experience for you. And I think you'll enjoy the more hands-on um, approach you know, to the course. OK, 
Okay, we talked about having groups in class, and they're going to provide us with the opportunity to work with other students and learn from each other. So ask yourself, you know, what do you want to get out of the class? You know, kind of think about that, because <clears throat> I think there is a lot that you can get out of the class and a lot of interesting things. Okay, um, there is a survey that um, you'll need to complete. You know, one of the first things you need to do I can show you where you get that. If you go to um, eCampus and I do not have that anymore. Okay, you go to eCampus and you go to content. Okay, we'll start like at the beginning so you can kind of see where you go. Content go to module one these are where the modules are you'll see my introduction you'll see this video um, go to welcome survey okay and this will just ask you some questions about your experience with software and that sort of thing so make sure you do this because I'll need that information okay okay So I also want to mention something that um, most of the videos you're going to see in the modules were developed by Dr. Trez Jones in the EAHR department. Um, I decided to utilize his videos because I thought they were really well done and quite helpful. Um, and because I'm using these videos, which were meant for a class in spring of 2014, you need to keep in mind that some of the things Dr. Jones is saying in these videos as far as due dates or group size or you know he'll refer to this week we're doing this and next week you know it's going to be a little off okay so you have to to keep that in mind when you watch these videos the the content is what is important okay but the dates and and the timings going to be a bit confusing you can find these due dates on the course schedule and the individual assignments. So I hope this won't be too confusing. I, I just felt that his videos were, were done so well I wanted to share them with you. Um, but if there is some confusion, always feel free to communicate with me. Um, if there are any questions, please contact me. And try to remember, you know, we're in this together. I'm going to learn a lot this semester too, as well as I hope you are. So we're in this together, we're a community of learners, and I think it's going to be a fun experience. And I'm looking forward to um, getting to know everybody. Thank you.